So this will be a quick lesson on how to make a gothic arch using the shape splines, okay? So just click on this one here and Alt W. So we're going to go to shapes, we go for circle, press S to line up with the grid. Left click and hold, and there should be okay. okay. Now I'm going to add another one, another circle. Okay, just escape out of that. Press W. And shift and bring it down here. Okay. And Probably use a ray, but I'm just being quick and nasty today. And kind of like that. I should be okay there. So escape and S to come out of that uh, pointer there. <clears throat> okay, so I'll click on the main circle here and I will go to right click editable spline. I think I click on vertex spline. Sorry, and we go attach all these parts here. So I change from purple to white to show that they're part of that. Again, they're not 100 percent which is quick, quick and easy. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is <clears throat> make booleans. So I click on the boolean here and boolean this. Okay, I should have come in a little bit more with this one, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so then W. Okay, so Alt W. And now I'm going to convert it to, so I just click in here, an editable poly. <coughs> and we're going to go to the front view. I'm just going to roll out a little bit, put the mouse button, pull it down. I'm actually just going to slide this over for the moment. Okay, and we're going to go to line. So just go up again. Okay, okay, just leave that one there now. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. I right click and smooth that okay, a little bit higher. So the next thing I need to do is to click on this here. And I need to go to polygon and extrude along a spline and I click my spline, just click this button here and select that and click OK. Okay, it works now. Okay, so we just bring these up a little more. So there we have our gothic arch.